Hello, this is Jeff with the JNA Junction. I'm going to do a uh, video review here of a request on YouTube. A guy wants to know how I uh, wired the uh, LEDs and stuff up in my uh, Williams engines. So I'm just going to explain and show. Okay, uh, first thing we did, um, the LED, uh, this is a warm white five millimeter um, I took a foul and I fouled the, the down where it's flat okay um, I cut all the old headlights out of, of the Williams engines and uh, and I just wired them to the uh, so here's the old headlight thing, but I left the wires on here long enough so that way if anybody ever in the near future wants to wire them back in, they can and put the original lights back in it. But I wired it in the... Okay, um, so on the uh, wiring in the engine, I took, um, we soldered them in. And then we put uh, heat, heat, heat shrink on it, about half inch long. Uh, this is uh, one and a half inches, no, two and a half inches long, I'm sorry. Um, but we cut them off a half inch long, but this in here is actually, we was using this, one, but it was too small. So, uh, so this is the one we was using here. Uh, this size is... I think it's what uh, three thousandths and we cut them off uh, you know about a half inch and we could you know make four out of one of them and then just take a lighter well the reason why this this would would work good but once you solder that on there it, it won't slide over the solder so so that's but that was our first experience and also when you put these on here Make sure you put them on the LED side um, because the the first one we did uh, we put you know on the on the uh, other side toward it on the engine and that just electric soldering gun just got that wire hot enough and it ended up shrinking up on it so we had on the first one we had to end up using tape so then the second one we used these and but they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't like I say, they wouldn't slide up over the thing, so we got them over, up over it some, and then got it on there, and then we just taped it the rest of the way up. But I bought these uh, in a kit. Um, they, uh, like I say, they didn't seem to sell them separate, you know, that small, so, so I bought it in a kit. <laughs> and like I say, I, but like I say, then also, um, this here is, is uh, quarter-inch mirror hangers. Um, what I do, you can see here, um, well, just let me open it up here. What I did was took a, uh, this mirror thing here, and I cut this piece off with, with the side cutters, and I took a foul, and I fouled it down. Okay, and then I took a drill bit. A three sixteenths, a three sixteenths drill bit, and drill this hole out, and that's just enough to, for that LED to fit in there kind of snug. Cause you want it fit snug where you don't have to glue it, uh, cause the glue just makes a mess. But you know, file that down, and then when you put it in the engine, um, I I put it in this way, and I put super glue on the bottom of it. Then I put it kind of like uh, into the V part of the engine or the uh, where the headlight lens is and and the uh, number boards right in the about right in the middle of it. Then put that slide that LED in there and then um, then I slot um, yeah, the LED in there and then I take the wires and stuff up inside the engine. I kind of doubled them up and everything made them look neat in there um, so they would so it won't hit into the flywheel so uh, but that's what I did um, 
like I say, they was easy to do. Uh, now on the GP38s, um, I didn't know about the other Williams engines, um, but I had to bend this down like this. You can see how it's bent down there. You could either do it that way or you could do it sideways. Um, I had it bent straight up. And and I had it taped up in there. And what it did, the flywheel uh, hit the metal part of this uh, and, and shorted this, the LED out and blowed it. So this is the blowed LED anyway. Uh, but so on the other one, I just bent it down like this. And then I put it up into the lens inside there, and the, the, which the lens is recessed in, and uh, put a little bit of super glue on it and glued it up in there underneath of it, right here. And then, uh, then I run this right down in the middle of the, uh, the windshield, and then I put it up in this up into the nose and put tape on it, and then doubled it up, put this up in the nose. So that way it would, uh, you know, stay out of the way of the motors and all that stuff so it won't, uh, you know, ruin it, so. Uh, but like I say, that was my first experience, so I, now I know, but like I say, you can do it, I think, sideways too. You could probably do it this way and glue it in this way and then run it up around the top there too. It'd probably do just as good, so. But, uh, but like I say, on the back of the GP38, you know, I had to use the, uh, the, uh, this mirror bracket as well, so. But like I say, you know, I just said you just cut that off and then take a file and file it down and use uh, super glue to glue it in. And then I use super glue to glue this up in the front, you know, of the engine. And like I say, I did videos on it last night, and, uh, and they seem to be working really well. So, but like I say, I kept all the bulbs and and all the brackets and everything out of it. So that way, if I, you know, which long as I had the engine, they're always going to have LEDs in it. So, but like I say, if anybody it happened to me, if they want to, you know, change them back out, you know, they can't. They're more than welcome to. So. But like I say, I just wanted to explain to it, but I wired it into the to the wiring that's already in the engine, you know, into the headlight. So like I say, but like I say, I cut those wires off, like I said earlier, that so that way there's enough room there if you ever want to wire them back in, you can. Same way for the engine too, they're wired in, uh, the wire's long enough where you can um, take it, you know, wire, you know, take the wires off of it and wire them back in, so. But, uh, but okay, this is uh, Jeff with uh, JNA Junction. Uh, please subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks.